So our first meeting was on the server room. And, uh, you know, we were, I was on a pretty tight budget. So, um, you know, so we wanted to, I know we had a five ton unit over at our old studios in the server room. So we knew we wanted to put about a five ton unit in there. Um, so we were really concerned with price and, uh, you know, again, just having a backup system where if one went down for any reason, you know, we wouldn't have to shut the business down. We would have a, you know, a backup unit. In the server room, um, that actually was where the first area that they agreed to use the Mitsubishi units because it was just a more logical choice. Again, it was something where it had been originally drawn up that it was going to be conventional ducted units. And um, I believe they had two units inside there for redundancy as well, but it was something that, again, a lot of space taken up on the ceiling there. So, you know, it being a much more typical application that we use the Mitsubishi there for, and they were more familiar with that too, that was a lot easier to accept using it for that. And really, that became a lot of the, the reason why we led to be able to do the TV studios after that. So, we were really skeptical of putting the ductless units in the studios. Um, we went through, I don't know how many meetings with engineers on, you know, the best way to, you know, um, provide air to the studios. And most of it was, you know, putting on rooftop units and then extensive ductwork throughout the building. A lot of corner, a lot of installation, you know, having just really wide, really long duct runs. So by the time the air got to the studios, it would be, you know, it would be quiet. So uh, all, the <laughs> all the sound engineers that we met with, you know, they were obviously not familiar with Mitsubishi units, um, but they were like, you know, this just, it can't work. If you put this unit actually in the studios, you know, it's going to be too loud. And we were shooting for like a, uh, like a DBA range of like between 20 and 30. So it was like relatively quiet. So uh, we were really skeptical about putting them in the studios. And then uh, Greg, the um, installer, he was like, listen, Mitsubishi has a factory out in Schaumburg. You know, if you want, you know, I'll set up a, an appointment. You can go out there and actually listen to these things. We ended up talking about the noise levels for a long time and talking about the decibel levels that were required. Uh, and finally, we realized that the only way we we're going to be able to come to an answer on this was to be able to show them a unit that was actually in operation and be able to see it and hear it. Uh, so at that point, we set up a meeting to uh, go to the new uh, facility that Mitsubishi has in Schaumburg, where they have pretty much every unit that's on display there and operational. So we came in with the customer and we instructed them that the best thing to do before they got there was to use their decibel meters and test the sound levels in their existing TV studios that they were using before these TV studios were built, and then be able to compare them. And uh, they did bring with the decibel meters. We uh, also uh, had the challenge of not having a ceiling in place because the demonstrator units that were there were just simply hanging in the air. So we brought with some building insulation to be able to wrap around the unit on the ceiling to be able to simulate drywall being in place and isolate even more noise from the equipment itself that might be registered. And when we were done, they took their decibel meters and went up close to the grill and as far away from the grill and there was no question it was quieter than what they had existing in their studios right now. So they were happy with that and that really was what led them to make the decision that this was the right product to go with. Mm -hmm.